All of your favorite pants. Gone. Oh. Hello? It's Jeff, the kid who used to bully you in third grade. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff, listen. I just know how it feels, okay? I understand in retrospect. I saw, I saw the end. Let me get, I'm gonna get there. We must have had problems at home. I just want you to know everything is okay now. Jeff swats the overdue library book out of your hands. Ah, I see. Just, just a green version of you. Just tell it much jerk as you were in third grade. Jeff suddenly punches you, knocking out all of your teeth. Hey, if this was actually happening, I'd be really mad. You pick up your teeth and walk away. Good you teeth. got an item. Your teeth. What a jerk. Now check that and check the item. The only way to interact with your inventory during a dream is if you had convinced Freddy to hold it for you at the exact moment you went to sleep. Okay. Uh, hello. It's that creepy crimbo lady from the refrigerator factory, now in literal nightmare form. Faster. Excuse me, I need to get past you. Why? Are you in a hurry to wake up? Darling, it's crimbo. You should be making merry. Crimbo's still months away. Oh, but it's always crimbo in dreams, dear. Oh. Uh, Merry Crimbo, then. Merry Crimbo, dearie. I didn't have time to properly introduce myself before. I'm Dark Noel. In an affection as goofy as her name, she curtsies. She curtsies. Dark Noel, eh? You really taking this motive, uh, motive seriously, right down in weird, evil-looking Crimbo hat. Her smile falters a little. Evil-looking. I told you at the refrigerator factory. It's just a... Wait. She points the weird device she's holding at her hat. It starts beeping in a fast, irregular pattern. You're telling me that you can see the special Crimbo magic with your eyes? That bad? <laughs> uh, yes, if that's what it is. This is decidedly unfestive news. I'd better talk to the president. I want to talk to Calvin Coolidge. <laughs> Calvin Coolidge about your Crimbo hat. I want to talk to the real president about you. I see. Yes, that's the problem, dear. And I'll see you soon with the solution. She scowls and jumps off the edge of whatever this is you're standing on. Ominous. That's always good when they're like, Oh, yeah, why is your hat fucked up? You're like, what do you mean why is my hat fucked up? Wait, you can see that? You're like, uh, no, 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 I didn't see shit. <laughs> hey, that's the entire plot of Pokemon Coliseum. Really? I don't know what the co I don't know what the fucking... They, they, they make shadow Pokemon. Oh, you can see... And you find a girl that can see that. Oh, yeah, the red-haired girl in pigtails. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. And they're like, No, you're not supposed to be able to see that, get her! <laughs> like... And that's the plot. Why does that Pokemon have weird bad juju around them? Yeah, the ominous black aura. Like, what's with that? You're like, you can fucking get her! <laughs> get her! That's... Yep. Shoot her! Shoot her dead! And you're like, whoa! That's... 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 That's just... This bookshelf is not behaving the way bookshelves do when you're awake. Yeah, it's floating. You grab a book at random, and the bookshelf puffs out of existence. I got an item. Melting mine. That's always good. Yeah. Anything else? No. I swear, if I wake if you woke up with fucking teeth in your pocket. Hello, mysterious man. Who the fuck are you? Alarmingly, a man in an expensive suit is standing at the foot of your bed. What the heck? Who are you? You may call me Don Toblerone. Wait. wait. I, yeah. I saw. I thought the music was fucking Bob music for a second. No, it's violin-y. Okay. I rep I representate a certain organization of. It is Bob music. <laughs> oh, okay. Shall we say, like-minded criminals? God damn it! Organized criminals like the mob. <laughs> Wait, you're the don of the local mob, but mob boss in my room personally? No, no, no. I am not the don. That is merely my nomenclature. It is an abbreviation for Donald. Oh, that's confusing. It has been a matter of some confuscation, yes. I do have a sobriquet, but I don't care for it very much. Where is it? Donny Thesaurus. I'm gonna hazard a guess that they call you that because you like long words. That is very astute of you. Of course, this astutition comes with as no surprise to me. My associators tell me you handled yourself well during the conflagration at the refrigerator refrigerator manufactorium. Do you actually own a thesaurus? I am here to propound you for considerationing a certain proposition. Come again? I'm here to make you an offer. Oh, can I refuse it? Certainly, though your refusation would be, shall we say, unadvisatory. What's the offer? 
From time to time, my collegiates and I have certain requirements, but lack the necessary manpower to achieve them. At such junctures, we make lucrativial, lucrativial arrangements with certain capable individualists. We find ourselves, at this moment, at a juncture such as the junctures I have thus ascribed. Uh, so you want me to do contract work for the mob? Exactingly. Maybe that's why... Hey, I'm really regretting this lost soul. I <laughs> got Let's Ow. go. All right. That's how you play these games. Always take the perk option. Yeah, no, the, the fucking the special one, the one that has a thing that you did. Yeah, I'm yeah. taking that one. Blue text, always take blue text. Blue text is always good. Sure, maybe that's why I am a mobster. An excellent decision, if, if I may articulate such. So what happens now? Just sit tight, as they say. We will call upon you, telephonically. He gives you a curt nod, then leaves the room through the window. It takes him three or four tries to work the latch. All right then. I guess I'm. I guess I'm doing shit for the mob now. Oh man, Dino dinosaur was pretty good. You didn't go through the right door, unfortunately, because we had two other doors you could have gone through. But I don't know if anything's gonna top that first one. But the with the fucking with the trees. trees. Well, that was that was only the second one. We'll it's see. True. We'll but see. Like, but yeah, it's true. I know we've only seen two, but like that's that's yeah. not a high bar. That's a high bar. Just be like, what? What's happening? Where am I? <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> yeah, really. Hey there, Danny. How'd you sleep? Fine until a mob guy crawled in my bedroom window. Oh yeah, that window is pretty lousy. Anyway, the next antique I need that, to no questions about find that, is huh? a compass. The direction's kind, not the circle's kind. The Detectotron says it's out near Crystal Dream Lake. I don't know what that is, but I bet it's too far to walk. Car that I can borrow. No, but I have something even better than that. Two cars? A bus pass. Stop out front is your gateway to a whole wide world of adventure. Well, thanks. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a more specific reading than near the lake. Something about the place is making the instruments go all screwy. Here, take this map. Uh, this uh, is the you postcard. Got, yep, you got a postcard and a. Then you got the lighthouse. It has a picture of a lake it, on it. It has a map of the lake on it. Uh. Yeah, that's what a map is. A picture of a place. Yes, I can't argue with that logic. Uh. Yes, pet the cat. I gotta get my boon back, you know? Open the door to nowhere. Damn it. All right! Hey! hey. A blonde flapper? Cracks her chewing gum and gives you a sharky grin and a little wave. Uh-oh, she's gonna rob me blind. <laughs> hey there, big boy. You're Danny Nolly, right? Yeah. Depends on who's asking. Ooh, look at you being all tough and mysterious. I am a wizard. Well, Molly Buttons is who's asking, fuck. And I do like games, but, Shit. I don't, but don't push your luck with me. Okay, you got me. So how do you know my name? The boss sent me to lend you a hand and to keep an eye on you. Savvy? What? Hey, now, I put in my two weeks notice before I left. Poke keeps the fair and square. Huh? No, we're not that boss, you palooka. The boss. The boss? You know. He glances up both shoulders and hisses at you. The mob boss. Oh, that the boss. Sheesh, I can't tell if you got a screw loose or if you're just funnin' with me. I've seen some shit. Anyway, I like to I like to keep guessing, you know? What? <laughs> I know. So what are you supposed to do? Supposed to partner up with me? That's the deal, McNeil. Uh, and do what? What's a 20-something girl like doing work for the mob anyway? Hey, now. I ain't just a pretty face. She pulls a Tommy gun with a full-size <laughs> drum magazine from behind her back, gives it a flip in the air, and catches it with a mad glitter in her eyes. Holy gee! Holy gee! <laughs> Holy gee! Put that away before come and seize it! <laughs> God, if you have to whisper... Well, you're fine with waving a machine gun around in public? So are we teaming up or what? Get the fuck in here! <laughs> Holy shit! Welcome to the fucking party! Get in here! Molly has joined you as a companion. Peachy, you want I should come with you right now or cool my heels at the wax Get cricket for a while? Gabby, go back to park. You can go park some cars. <laughs> Get in here, girl! <laughs> you're crazy as shit! Okay, you have it. 
Hey, Gabby, you mind waiting for me at the wax cricket? You got it. Let's hit I the bricks. The hit those bricks. Oh, man. All right, to the bakery. <laughs> she just <laughs> has the gun out. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow, this is so threatening. <laughs> the smile really puts it all, it just oh, wraps no. it up nicely. In a oh, nice package. No. Anyway, uh, a little sign on these pies says, not for sale. My pies. These are my special pies. It's a glass Aren't case. One of those newfangled automatic toasting machines. Toasters existed then. What are you talking about? Ask about it. Is this one of those newfangled automatic toasting machines? Yep. I knew it. It'd be a real time saver if it wasn't such a tricky contraption. Getting the settings right is driving me crazy. You want a slice? I'll give you one for free because there's no guarantee of edibility. Sure. He puts a slice of bread into the machine and pushes down a lever. After a minute, a blackened shard of toast pops out. Got an item. A slice of burnt toast. Uh, sorry. Yep. I have to fill it yep. with those knobs. Yep. Thanks anyway. Alright, what you got, bro? Introduce yourself. Hi, are you Bertram? I'm Danny, a friend of Charles. Well, heck, call me Bert. Pleased as punch to meet you, Danny. Any friend of Charles is a friend of mine. In fact, I'll give you the friend discount. Wow, really? Sure, just assume that all my prices would be 10% higher if we weren't friends. Yeah, all right. Okay, what's for sale? What you got? Press the roll. Man, ooh, he sells man rich fucking bullshit. That's mm -hmm, good. Mm -hmm. I made that before. Slice of frozen toast. How did a single machine even manage to do this to a slice of bread? The hot armor, hold on. All right, cool. You could sell two of your spare guns to the bakery. Yeah. I think. Yeah, they're there. No, they were. You. So much shit. <laughs> there they are. One. Wait. Keep going. Two. Three. So you can sell two of them. God. Yeah. All right. Oh, we never, we never, we never check out the all. Oh, I'm also completely. I'm gonna fix something real quick. Huh? Oh well. Oh, it's combat. It's just combat. Right. <laughs> Whoops, was streaming in the wrong category. Uh, it's fine. If you see a pointy bit of metal with a wooden handle, that's an all. That's all. That's an all, folks. <laughs> Excellent. It's the unsinkable Molly Burton. She shoots you a wink. Yeah. Let's go talk to her. Everything good, Molly? My Roscoe is getting rusty. Let's blow this joint and go find some action. Uh, I'll make ball talk. I want to see what's what's with you. Looks like everyone's pretty down in the luck around here. Yep, everyone's out of Rhino. Even the flim flammers and fake glue artists had to split town and find new butter and eggmen. Sure, of course. So, how do you like Ocean City? Oh, baby, it's the berries for sure. That's good, right? Where else can you farm kale by drilling rats all day and go out hoofing at your choice of juice joints all night? That's good, right? <laughs> Hey, you know if there's a good heater joint around here? I gotta stock up on pills. They make pills for heating things? Sure, you know. Hot lead? For ventilating finks. By ventilating finks usually makes them colder. Yeah, I'm gonna put them on ice alright. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> she's talking- Danny, she's talking about murder! Murdering people! Alright, uh... Oh, bus stop. I can't do the bus stop right now. I gotta go to the chop shop. What's up? Yeah. As you're walking down one of Ocean's residential streets on the way to where you're going, you hear eerie music coming from the upstairs window of a nearby house. <sighs> Get sidetracked. Let's go. Go investigate. Yeah, we'll go into the. W it's all the way up there. How'd you hear it? This seems like a pretty normal house in a pretty nice neighborhood, but there's something odd about it. Some sort of uncomfortable energy that makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up. Maybe it's something to do with the weird droning tone you hear coming from inside. 
Like a pained, inhuman moan constantly rising in pitch. Yeah, maybe that's it. Hey, check your inventory real quick. Sure. Can you read your book for better stuff again, or do you need... Uh... Oh. You didn't Ooh. even read that one yet. Oh, yeah. I think it gets... Oh, I just got... I got that in the dream. Yeah. Melting Mind. You're not sure what kind of book this is. Avant-garde social commentary? Psychedelic research journal? Total nonsense created by the random nighttime firings of your own neurons? I don't know, but I'll read it. You read the weird book, including all the several page long footnotes, the parts in different typefaces and orientations, and the parts written in languages you don't speak. You got a skill, mind melt. You can't help but think that there's more to the story than this, though. Maybe you should read it again. Do mind melt also do you five it? Oh man! Oh, I need thirty-five XP. Yeah, yeah. 70, oh, that's right. They take XP. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To upgrade. Hey, look, your teeth. Oh yeah, what the fuck with this? These are unmistakably it's a quest your, item. These are unmistakably your teeth. You can tell by the scar on the upper left second by cuspid. But your teeth are also still definitely in your gums where they belong. Why are they a quest item? Hey, the gargoyle charm that you never looked at. A little a wooden gargoyle? gargoyle on a leather strap, whittled by Charles Wa Charles Wallace. The base has the motto, keep on trucking, carved into it. Oh, that's why I did. Plus one mysticality. Definitely gonna keep that on. Yep. Alright, come on, Kurt and girl with a gun. A perfect squad. You knock, but hear no response, so you nose your way inside. That eerie sound is even louder in here. It seems to be coming from upstairs. Also, the owner's interior design sensibilities are a little strange. What? What do you mean, huh? Oh. A bunch of books about music theory. Even the most basic ones would be totally beyond you. That's true. I don't know shit. But Dusty, this got disused chess set. It's a day stand. Tea time was a long time ago. There's nothing left here but the stains. This cabinet is full of backup plates. The plate rack is a statement piece, and the statement is, I have too many plates. That's correct, sir. A shelf full of trophies from music competitions. It's a cabinet full of sheet music. And one of those pieces. You pull out a sheet, but it's all in German. Und du kannst kein Deutsch gesprechen. This door is locked. Shit's locked. <laughs> All right, up there to the creepy ass music. Let's go! A staircase leading up to where the sound is coming from. Let's go! <laughs> I know I didn't expect, it was a lot of things I expected. I now expect just a guy. <laughs> yeah, what the hell, what the hell's going? Oh, he's tired. Tired looking man is playing uh, a cello here. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> what, who are you? Why are you in my house? I'm uh, sorry for intruding, but I heard the music. And I guess I have an intrusive nature. Name's Do Danny Collie. Well, I am Ernst Simmer. Forgive me for not stopping, but it is vital that I continue playing. What are you doing? There is a uh, darkness beneath my house. Did you check the fuse box? No, I... It's probably bad, man. Listen to me. I had a dream, a premonition, of a dark rift appearing in my basement and growing until it swallowed the entire house, and then the neighborhood, and then the world. Wow, that's quite a dream. It was not just a dream. I went downstairs to check the basement, and there is indeed a rift. God damn it! As of now, it is still small. I must keep playing this cello to prevent it from growing any larger. How's, how's playing the cello help? That. The bass vibration reverberates downward and is focused by the circle of furniture downstairs. This resonance inhibits the rift. Huh, I really don't get it, but okay. Are you a physicist or something? No, I am only a cellist. I cannot explain how I knew this would work. Okay. Okay, listen. I'm sure there's a rational explanation. <laughs> Probably just a trick of light, plus you can stand over the nightmare. Well... Plus, I'm pretty sure your living room furniture can't get reality strengthening sign uh, resonance waves. Uh, you're... You're probably right. I'm just an old man jumping at shadows, I suppose. Yeah, best for us. Don't worry, everything. Wow, that's gone. Uh-oh. Maybe convincing Zimmer to stop playing his cello wasn't such a good idea after all. Although I definitely can't fault your instincts, it might be a bad idea to leave without fixing whatever's going wrong in this place. Or at least finding out what that is. 
It would appear the two ghosts are playing a very spirited <laughs> game of chess. This chair seems to be ha having a hard time remaining stationary. Boy. Of Wait, what? Viscous black sludge bubbles in the teapot. Okay. You love bubbling black sludge, apparently. You got an item. Bubbling black sludge. Those have eyes in it? Foul yeah. goo from a haunted teapot. Alright then. Mrs. Callity and AP by one? Eat oh, that wait, shit. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Eat yeah. That. Drink that shit. Oh, yeah, drinking it. Yeah, all right, you're sludged up. You drink the substance, which is entirely unlike tea. Tea is a liquid, for one thing. <laughs> slurp, slurp, baby. Oh, yeah, put the knowledge in me. Anyway, can I fish? Thank you. I'm going to fish this real quick. Give me a second. This isn't tea. <laughs> what? No. Ah. Moths have eaten all the contents and most of the container. Oh, Jesus! At least the place had the courtesy to disappear entirely instead of leaving a pile of shards lying around. Yeah, I'm very disappointed in this video game. Why? For the plates not breaking into spelling out boo. So that was a gag. I game. know, but it's a new game. Wait, 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 go back to that chair. This chair is whispering. Uh -huh. Sit in me. <laughs> Think, bud. Oh, absolutely. Ah, oh, damn it! All right, here we go. You sit in the chair for a few minutes, and nothing bad happens. Apparently, it was all bark and no bite. Bitch, didn't think I would. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bitch. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Go back. This? A shelf full of trophies from murder competitions. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> it's a cabinet full of sheep music. Pull out a sheep. It's a piece titled "All Our Bite and No Spite." No, and no spiel makes Ernst a dull boy. What? This door's seen better jams. Oh, geez. That sure is a dark rift in space over there, just like Zimmer was afraid of. Well, shit. Ooh, look at that. Everything on the shelf is either evaporated or expired. All right, let me deal with this. Give me a second. It's a big hole in, well, in here. Get me in there. Uh, really? Fuck yeah. Woo! You find yourself in an infinite black void, or well. It looks like an infinite black void, but you have the uneasy feeling that your brain is only showing you an, inf an infinite black void because it doesn't want to try and process what this place actually looks like. It's a weird feeling. Uh, excellent. Look around. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> a throbbing spike of nega energy. in a circle, <laughs> but it's our hand. Oh, well, we'll see. <laughs> Shut! Fuck up! Nothing bad will happen. When has anything bad ever happened? This creature is built more or less like a large muscular person. If you built a large muscular person out of some kind of writhing black ooze and or smoke and or just plain raw darkness. It has a fist-sized glowing crystal embedded in its chest, about where its sternum would be. And as you draw near, you can feel it radiating invisible waves of energy. Kind of like heat coming off a radiator, except also the opposite of that, and also not at all related to that. Look, incomprehensible forces are tricky to describe, okay? Yeah, I understand. The creature shambles back and forth, waving its arms in a way that almost looks like it's dancing, or praying, or maybe just absentmindedly flailing. It seems oblivious to your presence, although that will probably change pretty quickly if you try to interfere with it. Like, say, if you tried to pry the glowing crystal out of its chest. Size it up! This creature looks extremely weak, almost docile. RIP IT OUT! You make a quick grab for the cre crystal, but it's firmly lodged in the creature's chest. The creature howls, and its long, spindly arms flail ineffectually at you. As you, ineffectually, as you, barely cognizant of your actions, plunge your hand into murky flesh, fingers questing through lukewarm tar until they find ribs, gritting your teeth, forcing open the cage, creaking, cracking, snapping like dry branches. You grab your prize and tear it free of the muck. The creature evaporates in a sigh of smoke. The crystal is both warm and cold in your hand, and has a slight buzzing vibration to it. Well, I'm not gonna destroy that! That's mine! Yes, something tells you that this crystal is very important, as well as being really shiny and pretty. Nice! You got an item, Rift Crystal. Nice! I can't open my, my shit here! I wonder why! <laughs> Alright. 
it occurs to you that taking the weird crystal out of here might be a bad idea. On the other hand, it's yours now, and you'd prefer to keep it. Bye! Check it. That, that's the wild crystal you found inside the rift in Ernst Zimmer's basement. All right! The ghosts are still fucking up, though. Oh, no, shit's still fucked over there. Never mind. You also haven't looked at three objects. This chair is frighteningly non-right side up. Yeah, that's correct. This table has slipped to the surly bonds of the floor. Mm -hmm. This chair is barely there. Mm -hmm. And go check the check the day stand. Oh, oh yeah, it's inverted now. The day stand has become a nightstand. Ah! <laughs> Hey, guy. Mm. Hi, Ernst. Hello. Ah, bad news. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Remember how I said everything was fine? I do remember that, yes. Are you telling me that you were incorrect? Let's just say your house is terribly haunted now. Ah, I should not have trusted you. We are both fools. Did the rift open? Um, yeah. No, no. What are we going to do? Don't worry. Think of something. Well, if you were me, well, if you were me, you'd leave. That's what I'm doing. Anyway. Hey, check out this thing I got. That's... What is that? Where did you get it? It was inside the rift. It makes me uncomfortable to look at. Can I have it? Oh, it's fine. You found it inside my house. It was in another dimension. Another dimension inside my house? Get it. Ah, it's mine, bitch. <laughs> well, I fucked that up. All right, let's go. I mean, you don't you don't have to have messed it up. As you start to leave the house, something tells you that it would be bad to take the weird crystal out of here. That something is definitely not the crystal, because it's a really great crystal, and you're deriving great satisfaction from owning it. Yeah, okay, that's the time. <laughs> Game is yelled at me mm -hmm. about the crystal. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving. Fuck. I'm I'm taking this guy's crystal. Book. Whatever you like. <laughs> it will fuck me up. Let's go. <laughs> As the door shuts behind you, you hear a sudden grinding, cracking noise, and turn to see the entire house implode into splinters and get sucked into a whirling black yeah, vortex. Yeah, that's right. Can't say I didn't warn you. Goodbye! Let's speak of this to no one. I still got the crystal? Alright! Let's go! Nothing happened! Get the hell out of here? Hell yeah! Ah! Oh no! Oh no! Hey, but we got a crystal! Yeah! <laughs> oh, Some amateur shit. wit has penned a mild bon mot on the wall of a bathroom stall. You smile, but do not laugh. Leave it, bathroom. Ah, to the chop shop! <laughs> you managed to sneak up to the Tin Lizzie's hideout without anyone noticing. You aren't going to stay unnoticed for long, though. This place is crawling with Lizzie's. Unless your first move is to turn tail and run, I guess. <laughs> this car looks terrible, but it smells great. You isolate and then confiscate the source of the freshness. You got an item. Prototype car freshener. A couple of tin lizzies are busy trying to dismantle a car that is already pretty thoroughly mantleless. It's like watching someone try to scrape just one more sandwich worth of meat out of a leftover turkey carcass. Get the jump on. What's up? Holy shit, nine hot damage? What, this? Oh. That's just a straight up kill, uh, but don't do that yet. Deal two hot damage. Oh, mine melt, yes. And I have three AP, so, uh, hypnosis decrease. All right, who's the strongest one here? The eight HP, so go for the seven HP. Wait, check how much damage your, your tongs will do to the eight HP one. Nine? Nine? Okay, so that'll just kill. Okay. And so then you can debuff the other one and then... 
see if you can, I'm just trying to see if you can do it in one turn. Oh yeah, sure. That actually will do less damage now. The um, if you go to the go to the other go to the mind meld, that'll do oh two two damage. No, that's two damage there. It'll only do one damage to the other one now. Yeah. Oh. But if you do that, wait, you have one AP left. Yeah, I have one AP left. Oh, unfortunate. It's okay, I'll just kill her outright. Oh yeah, that'll work. Got... Shoot a random enemy for one physical damage seven times, or three physical damage. Well, kneecap. Reducing their muscle by three. I'd go with the uh... the gun. Mm -hmm. No. Turk, no. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, you just you can just end the fight now. All right. 